for years, I found myself on the side of the equation trying to remind people that this is a business. And if we don't bring this game in relatively on budget and on time, it's not going to sell enough for us to make another game, right? And if we keep making changes all the time, it's never going to solidify enough to be a good game, right? The practical side of game design. And then suddenly we took this big swing to the other side, where now it's all about, it doesn't matter really the design as much as it matters how we're going to make money off of it, right? And that that, in many companies, comes first. Um, and I understand in free-to-play, if it's not going to monetize, it's not going to monetize. But it seems like that's where the conversation ends. Instead of saying, oh, well, maybe this game shouldn't be free-to-play. Maybe it should be premium. And maybe we're willing to scale our team size to what we expect to make on it, right? And I think that that sort of conversation is lacking now. Um, a problem with a lot of games that don't make enough money is that they spent too much making it. If you can scale your development costs to the size of your expected audience, you're fine, right? And every, everything doesn't have to be a huge hit. You can make a successful studio off a lot of smaller games as well, as long as you've sized the team appropriately. And so I think the conversation now tends to be really one-sided, where is it free to play? Can we monetize it? No, out of here. Right? And so you see a lot of development going on in indie games. And I think the whole rise of indie games is coming out of the fact that at this point, larger developers are, for whatever, better or worse, for whatever the root cause is, much more motivated by how am I going to market this, how am I going to sell this, than they are about, I have this interesting idea for a game. So I'm somewhere in the middle now where I understand that if we don't make money, the you know, studio closes and we're all out of jobs. So that's definitely true. But on the other hand, if there's not a, a good game at the heart of it, why am I even doing it, right? That's, not, that's why I'm here. I'm here to make great games. And if I'm not able to do that because of business concerns, then I'll, I just may as well you know, be making some other kind of software at that point.